Folks, we irrigate soils, not crops. And irrigation projects are done only once, right or wrong. You, therefore, have only one chance to get it right or get it wrong. However, crops failure under irrigation is proven to be more related to soils than to all other cropping factors combined together. Why is that? Because out there in the field, soil is your crop production line which can work well or badly for you and nothing can compensate for bad soil. All crops need water. And the question is, can your soil absorb, hold and release water to your crops? If not, we have a problem. But how do I know that? Simple. Talk to your soils, ask right questions, and your soils will tell you much more than you can ever comprehend. Yeah, talk to soils. I can't talk to soils. Oh, yes, you can. Let me show you how. The first thing to do is to dig a soil pit, to expose and examine soil profile, and then you have, not remotely, physically, take a soil sample from each of those layers and then test it on the spot, in the situ, day stability in the water. So, logically, I started with the surface layer. And I ask, can you please handle the water? Of course I can. I am intact. Nothing happened to me. Look at it. Great. Thank you. Second layer. Eh, bubble, 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 bubble. Still intact. Nothing happened. All the same. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Number three. It's your turn now, so put it into the water. Wow, 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 pull me out, pull me out, pull me out. I'm dying, I'm disintegrating, I'm collapsing. Sorry, too late. And I got my answer. Soil didn't speak loud and clear. No, it was actually screaming for help while it was collapsing and dying in presence of water. That's true, but what does that mean in practice? Well, let's watch all the process of soil collapsing in slow motion while we actually explaining what was happening and was the outcome. When the soil is rapidly wetted, the capillary action sucks up all water from all directions and therefore compresses the gases, the, the air inside. And that compression rapidly increases air temperature, which suddenly is trying to expand and get out, but cannot because more and more moisture is sucked in. And then that compression at the same time expansion and the temperature creates micro explosions which you only can see in slow motion and if your soil doesn't have a glue to hold particles together it just start disintegrating into the mud that has no strength Gravity works 24-7 and then that gravity force pulls that mud vertically down and that mud blocks or seals the soil pores or void through which water enters the soil and when that blockage happened we have a problem. And here's the thing, on drying that mud creates crusts, caps, pans, which every time when we irrigate or when it's a rain, collapses again and makes it worse and worse. 
But don't expect that this problem will fix it itself. Oh no, it only gets worse in the time unless we do something about it to restore soil health and stability in the water. Logical question is, what should I do? Well, I suggest dig a pit, expose the soil profile to see how many layers are there. Then take a sample from each layer, repeat the same exercise, what I showed you, and to find out if there is one or more layers that are behaving like that. Only then decide what to do, what remedies are needed. Not before. But why dig? Because a soil profile is three-dimensional body, X, Y, Z, it's a body that starts from the surface down, <laughs> not from the surface up, and you know nothing about it. Now, as you dig, observe, measure it, test it. It is that soil profile that holds all answers to your questions. There is no substitute for it. But remember, never ever rely on remote sensing devices and their masters. Why is that? Because none of them can't tell you what's there. They didn't dig a profile. They don't know where the layers are. They didn't see it. They didn't measure it. They didn't take physical sample to test it. They know nothing about it. It is as simple as that. Instead, be your soil doctor. Talk to your soil as it will tell you only the truth will never lie to you and it will always tell you more than you can comprehend. Thank you for watching.